Well, quite a smile from Coach Joe Olam here. It's, uh, this one feels good for you, doesn't it, Coach? Yes, absolutely. You know, all week we talked about three things. You know, the first one, uh, beating a team we never beat before, you know, so that was huge. And then uh, two, we talked about sending our seniors off in their last game on this field, and we did that. And the third one is, you know, give yourself an opportunity to, to play for a playoff berth in week nine. So uh, all three of our goals kind of fell into place this week. Well, it was 14 zip with 4.51 to go in the first quarter, and uh, they kind of had all the momentum. What changed it back into your favor? Well, you know, I think first of all, give our kids credit. Uh, they, they handle adversity probably than, better than any group I've ever had. Uh, you know, so, you know, with our injuries and stuff, there hasn't been a kid complaining, doubting anything. Um, you know, they just keep their heads up and keep fighting. And, you know, so all the credit in the world uh, to our kids. You guys had uh, some chances to take the lead in the first half, got it to 26-24. How big was it just to close to within two going into the locker room? Absolutely. You, you know, we threw that interception late at halftime in the end zone, um, go down when we had a chance to take the lead. But when we went to the locker room, as soon as I walked in the locker room, well, the guys were excited and ready to go. I, I, I knew we'd come out and play well in the second half. And, and uh, you know, fortunately, that's what we did. You know, the uh, the battle up front, it seemed, we thought it was pretty even all night uh, with your line and theirs. What, what did you think about the line of scrimmage? Yeah, you know, there were some there were some times where I think they, they, they you know, outhandled us a little bit. But, uh, you know, for the most part, I think, I think for what we were trying to do, I think our line did a heck of a job. Um, you know, like Thomas said, those guys are young, you know, with the exception of Caleb, um, both sides of the ball up there. So, you know, that shows a lot of promise for our, our future too. But, um, you know, just really proud of those guys. At what point in this game did you get the sense that we better start looking at the clock because maybe the last team with the ball is going to win it? That's funny. Yes, like that's exactly what I told Coach Simmons on the sideline. With I think nine minutes to go in the fourth quarter, I'm like, you know, this is going to be the one of the game where he gets the ball last, going to win it. Um, you know, never really felt comfortable even after the interception that Tom said there. I still wasn't, you know, very very sure how everything was going to go. But you know, our, our kids executed, and you know, just like I keep saying it, but I'm very proud of those kids. Was. Uh, you had the onside kick late. Was that a design? Was that just a squib? Tell us what happened on that play, which turned out to be huge in the game that you recovered to go up two scores. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, it was just supposed to be a squib, you know, trying to keep the ball away from, from Burmeister back there. And uh, didn't quite go where we had planned. Takes a bad hop. You know, their kid doesn't field it. And uh, I think it was Connor McKee, freshman, goes down there and picks that up. So uh, a huge momentum swing for us. I think there were like eight touchdowns in the game uh, through the air before there was a rushing touchdown. Did you think that I mean, was that something for you guys going into the week that you knew hey, if we're going to move the ball, it might be with the aerial attack? Yeah, I didn't think we'd be able to have a lot of success running the ball inside. I thought we'd have to hit them outside, but, you know, they, they did a good job bombing us up there with the exception of a couple of Thomas's runs. But I thought we had some matchups throwing the ball that we were going to be okay with. And, and uh, you know, for the most part, I thought our guys did a great job executing our, our pass game. I made the comment to Chris at one point in the contest, you could about take your pick among skill guys, and they're probably having about a career night. Uh, you guys with... Nick and Deshaun and Thomas, man, what can you say about those guys? You know, you know Thomas, uh, wow, that's what you say for Thomas. He is a, a playmaker. He is a competitor. He's everything you want in a quarterback. Uh, you're going to hate to see that kid go. Uh, and he left it all out there tonight. Uh, he is a, uh, one of the best players I've been fortunate enough to coach. So and then you put Nick on there. Nick, you know, a guy who doesn't get a lot of touches, um, but he takes advantage when he gets his name, name and number called. So. You know, very proud of Nick for what he'd done. And then Deshaun, uh, the guy we've kind of moved around on offense, started the year at guard, all the injuries and stuff, kind of had to move him because he, he, he is a playmaker. And, you know, we got some good matchups with him, and we motioned him out, and uh, he took advantage of those as well. Thomas Sensley, I mean, what is he, like 5'10", 135, I think is what he's listed. I think if he's a couple inches taller, maybe 30, 40 pounds bigger, we're talking about it. A big time prospect. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, I think yeah, I know he wants to go to college play basketball, and like you said, I know people are going to look at his size and doubt him, but that kid's a competitor. Um, I'd pick him on my team every time. He's gonna he's gonna make someone's basketball team very very good when he goes to college. What did your defense do? I mean, you got uh, basically you needed a stop, and you're able to. Well, Thomas got the interception, but in times when you're able to get them and slow them down a little bit, what were who were some guys that were playing well on that side of the ball? You know, when we, we didn't get a lot of pressure on the quarterback, but when we did, you know, Deshaun Carr getting in there and creating some quarterback pressure. I think Nick Nick Holstein might have had a sack or two tonight. Uh, those guys getting some pressure. We weren't we weren't able to do it consistently, but when we did, that really really helped us out. Were you expecting to get as much from Isaac Bauer in his return? Did you know he'd be able to go most of the game? He looked pretty good in practice. He practiced Tuesday and Thursday, uh, and he looked pretty good those two days. So I, 
you know, I, I think his overall is only going to expand next week. I think you'll see him playing both sides next week. Well, probably couldn't ask for much more than a, a chance to win your way into the playoffs next week, and that's what you've got. Yeah, absolutely. You know, going to week nine and having something to play for. Um, you know, and our kids are excited right now. So anything can happen when you get into, uh, you know, a one-game season now. Fremont Mills, how tough are they compared to some of the other teams? You faced a great schedule this year. Yeah, absolutely. You know, they're going to be, you know, just like, you know, Xyrel Corn Campbellton, they're going to be very, very physical. They're going to be very, very fast. It's got a, you know, a very skilled quarterback too. So it's going to be a challenge. You know, you're going to see a little bit of, you know, Ottoman in them, a little bit of, you know, Sparty, like I said. So even some Sydney, they're going to be tough all around. And, you know, just go out and have some fun and see what happens. We talked to Nick Holsty earlier, and he said he's probably never, even as a kid growing up, coming to games here, probably never heard it this loud. Would you agree? Yeah, absolutely. It, it was our crowd did a great job. You know, cheerleaders, everybody. Uh, you know, even here in the Line Six chant, uh, Coach Bauer brought a poem with him. You know, and Line Six talks about team and family. I don't know if I've had a team be this close. These guys are together all the time, and you know that really pays off. And, and uh, they're a fun group to be around. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.